Hey all, I'm Chris at Talent Gaming. Welcome back to another action packed game review. Today we're looking at a slightly older title from August of 2017, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, developed by Black Lab Games and produced by Slytherin Games. BSG Deadlock is what I consider a simultaneous turn based strategy game. This is where both the Colonial Fleet and the Cylon forces plan their next move at the very same time. Once that's taken care of, the next 20 seconds of action unfolds on the screen. The game consists of a single player campaign as well as online play consisting of both cooperative and PvP play. Speaking of campaigns, the campaign takes place during the first Cylon War, which is about 40 years before the 2004 BSG series that we've all grown to love. Published in August of 2017, we've seen two full seasons of DLC unleashed into the wild. The DLC expands on the BSG Deadlock content in most every way possible. There's more ships, munition types, play types, campaign style missions and storylines, fleet chatter, and modern ships from the 2004 series. The goal of BSG Deadlock is to investigate and eliminate the Cylon threat over the course of over a dozen main campaign objectives. While you're doing this, you'll also need to keep the Cylon fleets at bay, defending colonial assets, protecting strategic intelligence, and fending off human resistance to colonialism. The non-combat portion of the game is spent in the war room. Here you will use requisition points to acquire and train officers and unlock blueprints to new technologies including ships, squadrons, and munitions. You'll also need to build fleets of ships and jump them across the map in defense of the 12 colonies. Doing so requires Tilium, which acts as both fuel and for building ships and weaponry, such as torpedoes and Mark II Vipers. Keep the colonies defended and happy, it helps ensure a steady flow of both resource types. You'll be building a host of ship types, from the small and nimble Manacore Corvette to the immensely powerful and heavily armored Jupiter-class Battlestar. You'll have to arm your ships with a host of different weaponry and squadrons, including standard guns and guided missiles, heavy-hitting torpedoes, anti-ship PCM, devastating nuclear weaponry, as well as Vipers, Raptors, and other utility ships. The tactical or combat portion of the game is where the bulk of the action happens. First, you'll enter a deployment phase where you can select the munitions and squadron types available to you, as well as select the position of where your ships will be jumping in. Next, you will strategize your first course of action. You can set ship position and heading, adjust posture, focus fire turrets, use defensive flak, fire munitions, and repair subsystems. You can even boost your thrusters to move faster if you need to. Once you're happy with your planning, you end your turn and you can watch the next 20 seconds of action unfold right in front of you. During this phase of action, you can even pause or move the camera anywhere on the battlefield. Once this completes, you will return to the planning phase to plan your next turn. Once you've defeated all of the enemy forces, or have achieved the mission objectives, you'll be presented with the mission replay screen. Here you can watch and record all of the action from the mission. You can move and adjust the camera however you like, but some of the best replays come from using the AutoCam feature, which is very reminiscent of the 2004 Battlestar Galactica television series. This is seriously one of the best features of the game, and honestly I love it. Next, we're going to look at unit experience and how it plays an important role in Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Not only do experienced officers get promoted to allow for larger fleets, they also allow for various bonuses including stronger subsystems, increased posture range, and even defensive bonuses. Individual ship crews also get better in time. Veteran crews gain bonuses that increase gun range and accuracy, further increase posture range and improve defensive capabilities and more depending on the ship type. So what do I think about BSG Deadlock? Well, let's start with sound. Sound effect quality is pretty good for the most part. 
gun turrets don't quite sound as realistic as the show, but the missile sounds are almost identical to what you hear in the 2004 television series. Voiceovers are a hit and miss. Some of the voice actors do a great job of selling the story, but others leave you asking if somebody just handed the script to the local dental hygienist and said, here, read this. The music in BSG Deadlock is fantastic and really reminds me of the show. It helps me set the mood and keep the tension in the air. I always love the music in the 2004 series. Squadron target is confirmed. The game itself looks great, as long as you don't zoom in extremely close as some of the textures aren't highly detailed. Given the modest game requirements, it's hard to complain. The game itself plays well and it feels extremely responsive. The UI size is also completely adjustable to suit your needs. Gun animations, missiles, and explosions are good, although a little repetitive. The cutscenes are nothing special, but good enough to add a little more perspective and life to the story. Peace would reign in our lifetime. I felt that the story fit in well with the rest of the canon from the 2004 series. I'm not as familiar with the original show, so I can't really comment there. But I felt like the game really did the 2004 show justice and provided a lot of extra background to the timeline. I wouldn't go as far as to say the story was super in-depth, but it was entertaining nonetheless. In return for signing the Articles of Colonization. I feel like BSD Deadlock is a good game with plenty of included content to last 30 to 40 hours of single player gameplay. Add to that the multiplayer content and you have endless hours of fun. Even better still, there are another 8 DLC packs currently available to expand the BSG Deadlock universe if you're interested in that. The sound is good, the graphics are good, and when you get the game on sale for 10 to $20, it's an absolute steal. The game requirements are quite low. Most PCs with the discrete graphics card should be able to handle this title without any issue whatsoever. I'll include the game requirements in the description for those interested in checking them out. If you're a fan of BSG, space strategy, or simply a sci-fi nerd, I think this game may be of interest to you. It's not perfect, far from it, but I really enjoyed my time with it so much so that I actually finished it and kept playing it more. I had a lot of fun and I think you will too. If you enjoyed this review, please let us know by smashing that like button. Let us know what you think of BSG Deadlock in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to subscribe for more future gaming content. Thanks for watching. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing off.